Okay, so we're going to have a look at the fetch decode execute cycle here. And what we've got over here is the RAM, okay? And we've got uh, seven memory locations starting at zero and going through to six. In reality, of course, there are billions of memory locations in RAM, okay? Um, think of it like pigeonholes that you can put things, you can put one thing in each pigeonhole. Um, so in this case, we've got seven. And we've got some instructions here, and we've got some data here. So our instructions are basically to tell the CPU, which is here, to add these two numbers together. Okay. So in other words, load whatever is a um, memory number four, which is the number three. Add the add memory location five, which is six. So three add six, and then store the results of that calculation in memory location number six, so down here. So how does it do it? Okay, so first the um, program counter in the register of the CPU is set to zero. Um, the register of the CPU, remember, is a area of memory, so we can store things in the registers of the CPU. In this case, we're going to be storing the program and what to do with it. Okay. So the program counter set to zero, which is the address of our first um, instruction in RAM. Okay, so um, once this is set to zero, the memory address register is also set to zero. Okay, so it basically moves into there. So now the CPU knows where to get the first instruction. It's a uh, memory location zero. So we go along the address bus, which is responsible for getting to the right place in RAM, in this case, memory location zero, and it sees what's there, and it gets it and takes it along the um, data bus, okay, the blue line, because it's data. So it takes this, brings it along there, and pops it into the memory data register. So if I put that instruction in, load 4. So this is now the end of the first fetch cycle because we've got the data, we've fetched it from the RAM and we've put it into the register in the CPU. So the only thing to happen now is this now gets transferred to the instruction register. Okay, load 4. So we've, got, we've done the fetch cycle, we've got the instruction, we now need to decode this. So this is the next part of the fetch, decode, execute cycle, this is the decode part. So in other words, what we're saying here for the CPU is um, it needs to load um, number 3, which is in memory location 4, into our CPU. So that is the instruction that it's just decoded. So now we're on to the execute part of the instructions, in other words, actually doing it. So we know what we're doing now, or the CPU knows what it's doing. So it sends a signal along the address bus to get to the address for number three, which is in the memory location number four. And it transfers memory number three along the data bus, and it puts it into the accumulator just here. So, in other words, that whole process, we've fetched number three, decoded it, worked out what we want to do, and we've executed the instruction, which is popping that number three, which was in memory location four, into the CPU ready for it to do something. Okay, so we've had um, the program counter was at zero, if you remember. So because we've done zero, we're now at one. Okay. Um, so sorry, that's a rather thick one there. Um, so we now do the same thing as we did before. We transfer the one to here. And now we are looking to get the next part of this. So we're going along the um, address bus again. And we're picking up what's in um, address number one, just here. So add five is in address, address number one. So in other words, what we do now is we transfer this back along the data bus because we're putting, getting the data, which is add, add 5, so not actually add 5 to the total, but add what's in memory location number 5, and we pull it in back into the CPU. 
So we do add five, which as we saw before, then gets transferred over to the uh, instruction register, add five. And we now know that we need to add whatever is in memory location five to our accumulator, which we worked out earlier was number three. So we're going back along the address bus. We're finding out what the um, address is or what's in the address number five, the memory location number five. We know it's number six. So number six is transferred along the data bus and it's add, added to what is already in our accumulator from the last fetch decode execute cycle, which is three. So we've now transferred number six into it. So we can work out what the total is, which is nine, or the computer can work that out. And the last stage in our program down here is to store the results of what we've done in memory location six of RAM. Okay, so what we would do is we would take our number nine and we transfer it across into our RAM at position number six. Okay, so we have done our fetch decode execute cycle for a simple adding up two numbers. So that's essentially what happens, and obviously that happens in a tiny fraction of a millisecond, um, but that's the kind of explanation of what happens inside your CPU when it's doing one calculation.